Well, let's talk before we open it up to questions um, about your second company, mm -hmm. Rodan and Fields. What is it? What do you do differently? And why do you start a second company when you don't need to? Yeah, you know, I think when you're when you have been bitten by that entrepreneurial bug and you've seen what you can do and you see how many people are impacted by your product it's such an amazing feeling that you can't just go sit on the beach even if it is with sunscreen and under an umbrella and all that stuff um, you just it, it, it would be hard for me to fathom my parents in their 80s still work full time so we wanted to do something else and we knew that that paradigm shift of taking medicines and medicating skin care to fix specific skin conditions applied to much more than just acne. It applies to a whole host of concerns that people have that again affect people's self-esteem. So there are needs, not wants. I think that's something important and maybe in the questions will come up. And so we decided to, to start a second company called Rodan and Fields. And Rodan and Fields is, we have a number of different regimens like pro proactive is a product system we have product systems that treat different problems like acne rosacea sun damage sensitive skin different problems there pigmentation so you had other dermatological pr uh, products that you wanted to launch mm -hmm. uh, the you were going to go a different channel this wasn't for Guthy Ranker they right. th they're not involved in, in right. Rodan and Fields and early on in Rodan and Fields six months what happens to the company so within six months of launching that you know because we'd had some success with proactive then the business community now knows who we are so we launched uh, Rodan and Fields in department stores we were only in a couple of department stores Fred Siegel down here in Los Angeles Bergdorf Goodman in New York and within six months Estee Lauder found us and made us an offer and bought us okay you think that was pretty great right Okay, well, we'll, t we'll tell you more. <laughs> but as it turns out, while they are wonderful people, terrific, ethical, awesome business people, it was not a good fit for us. And so we struggled in a retail channel for four years. Even though our products were selling well and in the category that we were in, they were selling well, we felt like we were just really prisoners of this glass counter in a department store and recognized that most people were coming in to buy our Rodan and Fields product, which was now sold at about 30 or so Nordstrom and a lot of Macy's. They were buying it not because of the department store doing anything to advertise it at all, because they weren't, or really even Estee Lauder wasn't out there advertising it. It was because of word of mouth. And word of mouth is what sold proactive. We knew that. We knew that it wasn't just the infomercial that sold proactive. People would see it there, but then they'd go, you know, can you trust anything on an infomercial? And it would be talking to their best friend whose skin had changed, would, and they'd say, you got to try this stuff. It's really good. That that's what sold the product. And now we were seeing this again with Rodan and Fields, that it was a word of mouth type of business. So as we thought about it, what other industry really utilizes word of mouth to its greatest advantage? And that's the direct selling business. And the direct selling business is a business like Mary Kay, Amway, Herbalife, those type of businesses. And which also can have a little bit of a tainted reputation, just like infomercials did when, when we started doing those. And we thought this, this could be a really great model. So what we did was we went to Neutrogena, I'm not Neutrogena, going backwards, went to Estee Lauder and we said, listen, love you guys, but we don't think that this is really working out for us. We're not getting it into as many people's hands as we want to. We want to buy it back. And we bought the company back two years ago and we've been, my husband runs that business, Rodan and Fields, dermatologist, it's a direct selling business. And, it has been it has been so awesome and so exciting to now sort of start this new venture as well and still be working with proactive i just you know really feel really feel blessed here and you still have your dermatology practice and i do so that's you've true. sort of got the best of all worlds and so rodan and fields today 
how many people working there, and because you've got the direct selling structure, mm -hmm. how many sort of independent, independent representatives? representatives. So um, we have corporate offices are in San Francisco. We have about 40 people who work for us in our corporate office. And we have now, I think, about 12,000 or more, maybe, um, uh, consultants. We call them consultants, our um, direct sales people throughout the country. And it's growing, and it's been very exciting. And, you know, we've, uh, it's, it's really been another dream come true. And we're really seeing great things out of it. Not only making a difference, again, with people's skin, their self esteem, but even taking it a step further. And as, having experienced the wonders and the awesomeness of being a successful entrepreneur. What this business is about is creating entrepreneurial opportunities for anybody else who wants them out there. You know, we provide the template, the business, the products, everything there so that if somebody does want to join our organization as a direct se selling person or a consultant, that it's all there for them, that they can take it and run with it <clears throat> without having to make really any significant investment. It's, uh, I was just thinking actually while you were saying that, um, that model works so well in Brazil, that that, mm -hmm. that network's already set up, that's the way most things are sold, and uh, God bless them, Brazilians spend a disproportionate yeah. amount of money on beauty and health, and it's a great great place to be, but I'm sure you're exploring all that. Questions, let's open it up for Katie Rodan. Questions, I'll, uh, I'll get this, this aisle. Who wants to start us off? 